wonderful bass player for Parikrama. Uh, also, uh, the man behind Inner Lab, which makes some beautiful, beautiful music. And now, Thank Jamna Par, along with Shashank, uh, in the Thank studio. You, uh, you, uh, uh, some wonderful, wonderful people have uh, co- collaborated with you as well. There's Aditi Nair, who's a uh, yes. who's a singer who needs to be heard a lot more. There's, yes. of course, the wonderful Aditi Singh Sharma and yes. uh, samples from the wife because the wife oh, needs yes. to be kept happy. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. That was a clause before the album was being written. Yeah. I'm spending yeah. so much time with Shashank that yeah. you better put me in the album. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually referred to as my second wife <laughs> in my house. So. <laughs> but listen, but, but uh, it's it's getting uh, easier and harder. No, I mean I'm sure access uh, when you started access to technology or equipment was yeah. that much harder. Now of course everything is there. Uh, heard this really beautiful quote um, in uh, this uh, fantastic documentary called Real to Real, which was about uh, uh, you know the uh, the studios where uh, never mind uh, uh, oh. where uh, uh, versus was was recorded oh. uh, 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 Nirvana's versus and it was recorded on a on a Neve console which was oh with Dave Roll bought Dave Roll bought FM, yeah, so he yeah. made a documentary on oh, that wow. and, and uh, there's okay. uh, there's this question that was posed to a sound engineer who'd risen up from being uh, the wire boy he used to yeah, connect wires of course. and he says that uh, today of course it's beautiful that people are uh, getting an opportunity to show their talent but yeah. there are also a lot of people who have no business being in music uh, uh, who are also making a lot of money out of the music do you have views about uh, about social media about technology etc right now or uh, is that I mean yeah but it's such a big like rabbit hole if you go down mm. it because honestly like I can just speak for myself personally I'm just happy doing this like I've also like you know I've not had like a career as big as yours but at least I've been around enough to see the many changes that have come about like from the analog to digital I was yeah. uh, almost at the cusp of it if I could call it that absolutely and right now it's all digital like analog has become a novelty and now I can see people kind of go back to that mm. so I mean there are all sorts of people right there are people as you said who don't deserve to get this but then again who am I to decide that is But you truly believe that good music wherever it is will absolutely. be heard yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. yeah absolutely and happy for anybody who's working or trying to get whatever they want to get But out do there. you feel pressure to be on social media to be out there so that yes. your music is heard <laughs> Yes that which so sucks I mean I <laughs> <Yeah>. hate it <doing. laughs> like yeah. uh, it's the last thing that we want to do like in yeah. fact like we kept getting coaxed by each other like you know we need to post we need to post and then mm. checking the metrics and then sometimes it kind of gets to you that once it's doing well because mm. obviously you need to do that to be heard sure. it's not the good old days where you can just be on yeah. the road and you know be heard and that's yeah. how it worked you need to be on social media yeah. like we were discussing if you've gone to Kutub Minar, you need to take a picture first <laughs> and then you know then you go to Kutub Minar. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. so but 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 does that uh, uh, does that necessarily mean that that's a burden on your creativity as well? Does that uh, hamper or uh, do anything to the creative por- process? You think? I don't think we let that happen. Mm, yeah, because yeah, when we're writing, I'm very yeah. lucky because okay. Gaurav does all the social media thing. I just very really wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just shoot off his shoulder, Shashank. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so I keep I'm pushing him also <laughs> because he like the kind of stuff that he does. You know, like it needs to be heard, right? Because Absolutely. not many people come from the school of thought, like practicing for hours at end like I yeah. don't come from that school of thought so it's yeah. very interesting to see that sure. and that's the real aspect that people also want to see outside right like because Absolutely. the instant gratification that we're talking yeah. about you've connected yeah. a computer you can make music right yeah. way yeah. Yeah. you've spent years perfecting a craft or getting close to the sound of perfection or whatever like Absolutely. you know that's not valued as much as it was so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah that's food for thought uh, but uh, what we have is of course honey for the eardrums because it's uh, music time what are you going to play for us we're going to play a track called Samar with Shashank wrote Mm -hmm. and we hope you like it sweet sweet track I mean uh, get a taste and see how you like it
music it's it's such lovely matured rhythms you know uh, you suddenly realize in the arrangement where the drops are and and how the flute is so beautifully merging uh, into the bass and and you know the the melody is all coming together it's just wonderful to see what you guys have done uh, it's also a time when uh, do you think everyone's talking about reduced attention span and people not giving enough music uh, in enough, enough time to listen to you know music enough to dive deep into it what are your views do you do you agree do you disagree i mean yeah <clears throat> what are your audience yeah <clears throat> i mean you obviously you've been with a band that's almost constantly yeah. touring so you've yeah. seen a lot of audiences have you seen audiences change not just uh, uh, in context with jamna par but audiences in, in general yeah. yeah i think audience has changed over the time like mm. uh, nowadays i think music has changed like it's more of electronic set like mm. yeah. the stuff we are doing as, yeah, as i was saying that you know uh, uh, music has become so internalized now for no? sure yeah i Everyone's mean yeah you as you were mentioning the attention spans for sure like i mean when we're writing also it's a constant battle like can we like uh, like you know actually dive deep into the song and yeah, say yeah. what we want to like mm. increase the bass to that mean remember like, as it used to be right like coming from the school of thought of listening to injustice for all the normal metallica yeah, absolutely 11 minute long masterpiece yeah. will people listen to those kind of songs and as much as we still listen to those yeah. you know kind yeah. of tunes written back in the day so but you think you know, you know the thing was that for us when when we were growing up and and consuming the music music was very much a community experience it was going oh, out of course was, yeah. yeah you know watching your favorite band live etc now Be, be, obviously, I mean, you can't blame anyone for doing it or whatever. But <laughs> of course, the, the the sign of the times is that everyone's listening to it, uh, uh, you know, in in their living room, making it in their living. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think the live experience is not as relevant as it used to be anymore? Do you think? Oh, uh, I don't think it's not relevant. It's definitely the community experience cannot be taken away for sure. Like I myself as an audience, you truly I, believe? Yeah, that. absolutely. Shahid? Yeah, yeah, of course. Huh. But is this that I think back in the day, like especially when I was starting out, I just see that there was probably one show happening in a month or two shows happening one. Now there's one or two shows happening every hour. Yeah, yeah. Obviously exaggerating, <laughs> but at least a show a day for sure. Sure. Yeah. So that way to get an audience or to fill a room, like we were very easily able to do back in the day because there was only one show happening. Mm. Now you need to really stand out. So it could either be social media as we were discussing, yeah, or the kind of music you're writing, or sure. doing uh, you know formula music, which is also a lot of people do. So whatever works. But yes, things have changed. Hmm. I don't think the uh, attention span or the fact the comfort level of you know how an audience perceives music has changed as much, but definitely the uh, like the options have given them sure. you know that whole aspect of to be able to choose what they want to see. For sure. So, uh, yeah. There's also uh, the fact that we're living in the world of social media, so it's only proper sure. that we ask you to do listicles. Uh-huh. <laughs> so so uh, for those who are taking their first tentative steps in the world of. Uh, uh of music and thinking of it as a career those three things that you uh, would like them to remember or forget uh, entirely your choice but three things uh me personally uh, i would say that uh, one thing nobody owes you anything you're writing music for yourself so if you know <laughs> if you don't get an audience don't be disheartened or don't blame anybody as we were just discussing sure. that's the first thing <laughs> like you're writing for yourself Fantastic. just you know do it for the pure joy of doing it uh patience like half patience it can take years it can take a whole lifetime it can happen in a day but just have patience mm. and one practice like please do not let go of that because <laughs> that's so that's the first thing actually like the pleading note yeah. in your voice was beautiful yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean it's a reminder to myself more than anybody else oh, sure. nobody to like you know please this of course yes. of course uh, shashank any addition i have uh, only one rule like uh, i have to like what i'm creating Important. Yeah. That's important. the most important thing. So I absolutely. think. If I am liking it, then I think that's important. Yeah, absolutely. What's also important is not to let you go without that one last piece. So what do you want to play right. for us? <laughs> what do we play? Uh, it's time for free. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's time for free. <laughs> Jump the part, ladies and gentlemen. Free is the name of the piece that you are listening to.
गौरव बलानी शशांक जमुना पार जमुना पार ऑफिशियल इज द इंस्टाग्राम आई डी सोशल मीडिया आई डी कुछ definitely definitely check it out it's so wonderful thank absolutely you, you so heart warming to uh, to listen to music like this and you know uh, the 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 greenest plaster in my face i think that will be uh, uh, more eloquent than any words that i use so thank you very much for giving me personally that <laughs> thank that, you, that thank you so i mean much. yeah it's <laughs> like honestly we couldn't hear that enough as you said earlier yeah. but thank you so much really yeah. means a lot the the music is wonderful i hope more people listen to it and appreciate it because it certainly deserves it and more so thank you very much for giving us the gift of music thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you.